Welcome back to What's Next Garage. Today we're going to be working on our iron curtain in the basement. We've been getting pretty poor water pressure and it's been about 10 maybe 12 years since I've serviced it. So I'm going to do a test of before and after on how long it takes to fill up this five gallon bucket. I'll open the spigot wide open and then I'll come over here I'll start a stopwatch and we'll time it. Let's see what we get. And we're gonna go just till it overflows a little bit and I'm not gonna move the bucket so it stays right here for the final test. Okay, all right, so that took two minutes, nine seconds approximately to fill up. The seconds portion of it, I'm not really gonna worry about that much. If it's two seconds one way or another, then it's just a mute point because it didn't make any difference. So I'm gonna leave this bucket right here and when we come back after I'm done cleaning, we'll do the same test over and see if there was any change. I just gotta shut that water off and we'll be good to go. So today on What's Next Garage, iron curtain cleaning. Here we go. Good morning, zombie mouse. Today we're gonna be working on a Helen Brand iron curtain system. And I've already added these the last time I serviced it. So I put these big uh, unions in here so I can take it out easier. This is the system we're going to be working on today, this, this guy. All right, let's get that guy taken off, that guy taken off, and we have to take those two off, no big deal. I'm gonna first go drain the pressure out of the system upstairs. Hey, 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 whoa, I thought that you were bled already. Well, we're gonna get some water on the floor. Okay, that's the air. Okay, so white seems to be water and a black. Whoa, it squirted me in the face now. Dang it. I thought I bled all that. Oh well. We'll just have to do cleanup on aisle one. We'll throw a towel right here. Oh, let's just do this. How much can possibly come out, right? Famous last words. Oh wow, I don't even, oh wow. This is definitely needed to be done earlier than what I did. There's gonna be something in here that shows you the lack of preventative maintenance. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness. So we're gonna get this one off over here. Look at the iron in there. Oh boy. And it's the same and oh, it's just about plugged into here. I'll be cutting this open for sure. Oh my gosh, that is horrible. That is an absolute disregard for maintenance and service. Oh, I'm embarrassed. But I may even have to cut open this line to see what's going on. If this line, I'll probably open this line up to verify that it's clear. And what I mean by that line is I'll probably cut this line open to verify that this pipe is clear and I don't know what I'm gonna do I may end up this may have cost me a whole new iron curtain granted the thing is 17 years old but there's no excuse for allowing that to happen well that one doesn't look too bad that may be able to just get a punch through or I'll take that pipe off right here I could pull this off and take this piece of pipe off and see what we have. And that's probably what I'm gonna do. Hmm, that's embarrassing. Okay, let's spin the top off of this thing. tighten this on all right so we already know that that's pretty jam full of iron it's iron curtain everybody's got to clean their curtains once in a while so now 
Oh yeah, look at this is all plugged up. Look at that. Look at the amount of iron. Oh, I'm not tall enough. Wow, okay. So this is all coated, right? So this has got, oh, this is horrible. So there's little lines in there. You can kind of see them. So what I did, oh, that's so plugged up. So what I did is I actually modified this. And there's a, there's a PVC plug right here. So I can undo that. This thing is a disaster. I cannot believe I let this go this long. Ooh, there's a lot of water in there. Come here, rascally rabbit. Believe it or not, inside now get a light to shine in there. It's really not bad. I know it looks like an inferno in there, but it's really not. It's just the sunshine. It's so that tank is in really good shape. It's clean. I'll go and scrub the sides of it because there's some rust on the side, but otherwise it's a good shape. Leave this valve and this valve shut. And I'm going to open this bypass valve. What that will do is it allows me to run up the line that feeds my outside spigots. I can open this line and we want to go slow to let the pressure build. Okay, now we can hear there's no water flowing and we see our valve, our, our water pressure is still high. So that means this valve and this valve is open, this valve and this valve is closed. So there's no water going to my iron curtain, no water coming from the iron curtain. So now I can use the hose outside and I'll be able to clean up that mess. Each one of those should be open. Now I did modify that so I can pull that plug out of there, which I will in a minute. And then I can scrub in there. And then, let's turn this to the sun. You can see what I've done, or lack of maintenance has done. This one, I cleared out with just the, with just the water, the jet of the water. So I'll keep going until we get some clear flow. On this, this is all PVC. So I've taken this PVC and then I cut it and I glued on this fitting. So it was below the vent. So I didn't obstruct any vents. And then I'm taking this out, right? So now I can get inside, oh. Now I can get inside there and clean that all out good and break off all of this iron. And then I'll scrub all these down. Oh, that one's really plugged up. So you can see all the scale that builds up in there. Oh, it's just like a cake's a cull in there. Oh yeah, there's so much in there. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, we're gonna have to do a little rinse. I think there's some on that side too. So that's what I'm gonna be doing over there, going through all of these going in like this and getting all the junk out of there and then I'll do the same for up here and I'll probably end up pulling these off just to get this whole head cleared out all right let's go And we can see that all our baffles are open. There, there, oh, you can see lights are there, yep. And there. And then what I'll do is I'll just clean that plug up and then I'll put the plug back in. So the incoming water then comes in and diffuses, sprays out in that tank. And then the air that comes in during recharge. And then this is the output that sits all the way at the bottom of the tank. This is one of those systems you don't think about. People rarely think about any type of water system other than the water softener when the water softener has no salt. So it's like 
your water system, your air conditioning system, your heating system, heck, even your snowblower. You don't really think about these things until you until they don't work. So you never think about it till it doesn't work. Unfortunately, that's what I did. And this is why I'm out here now with so much work to do to get it cleaned out. I still have to go back and get that piece off of that head, which I, I don't know if the, the brine tank, or the I should say the, the sediment tank, if this worked good enough to keep all that iron out, which it didn't because these both had junk in them, um, I, I may have bigger problems back there. So I'm gonna go pull that piece off and then bring it out here. Okay, I'm gonna pull this guy off now. And if need be, I can take this off also to see if this hose has been affected, or uh, output has been affected. So there is buildup in there. Let's see what we get when we pull that off. And going into there is the same way. And worst case scenario, I disconnect this, I, I unbolt it from the top of the tank, which it's just bolted onto the top of the tank and pull this whole system off and clean this whole head out. So we'll see how far I gotta go. Well, it's gotta come out. And I don't know what's in here. So guess what, everybody's gonna find out with me. And this really isn't a home improvement project, so I'll do a good job with it. Lord knows what's next garage home improvements. I have a tough time sometimes. Okay, so I'll just put that guy right there. But we're going for it. What's the worst that can happen? We buy ourselves a new, uh, a new system. <laughs> That's not what I want to do. I don't want to install a new one today. It's just on two screws, so it seems like it's probably gonna come out of there. Good thing I shut off the power. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I see something that I didn't see before. Let me get a screw on there. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. Okay, I'm right back. So right there is a little Phillips head screw. And I think if I take that out, it should allow me to take that drain out of there. So now the top of this is, I don't know how much sediment, oh, oh good thing that didn't fall in, is in there. So I would bet that this tank is very heavy. In fact, I'll give it a little wiggle to see. Yeah. Is very heavy and it's all full of junk. Maybe, maybe just maybe I can get the dolly in here and I can take it out and I can kind of rinse it all out. All right, stand by, we're gonna see. So there's no sediment or nothing coming out yet, no beads. So there's probably hundreds of people that are like, dude, you're gonna ruin the whatever about the whatever. But I really don't know what whatever's in there. Okay, so that's inside the tank. So you can see the media. You can see kind of that tube going down the center. I'm not certain what that media is, but I could see if I had to clean that out, I could do it. Or if I had to replace it, I could do it. Cause you just don't, the main thing you don't wanna do, get anything down this pipe, cause this is your main pipe. Yeah, I'm gonna keep flushing a little bit more. And then I think we're gonna be really good. Then I think it'll be okay. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Now I'm starting to see more of that whatever it is stuff. All right, I'm actually happy with the way that tank looks. It's definitely less heavy. Okay, I'm gonna set up a time lapse and then get this thing cleaned up. Use a little soap and water 
Scrub brush time lapse, here we go. So I think I'm gonna do the exterior and the interior. And we'll be time-lapsing this one as well. So stick around, here we go. Okay, so by now everybody knows what a plugged up pipe looks like. So I'm just gonna go over there and clean this one out. Okay, so I'm gonna go get the valve unit and try my best to clean that up. Um, I think it should be okay, but we'll find out soon. There's a pin and everything there for taking this off. I'm I still don't want to. <sighs> Remember, do your PMs on your systems. Even though you don't think about them, heating, air conditioning, water, snowblowers, you can run into big problems like I did here. So now I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna clean up the area where these are gonna go back in place. And by that time, this should be dry because it's, I tried to do the early bird gets the worm, but the job came out bigger than I thought. So now that we got the big heat, it's supposed to be like 100 today. It will definitely dry this out. Although there's a little bit of rust in there, it is not plugged at all. So I'm very happy about that. Oh, crap, I still gotta do this one pipe that comes from the system. Well, I guess I'm not done yet. So because this pipe is all plugged up as well, I'm gonna try and just run this in there. Maybe bend this in a little angle. So this is just a piece of number 12 THHN and I'm just, I'm shoving it in there, oh yuck, with the hopes that I can loosen up this stuff. I wish my buddy Super Nick were here, he'd know how to get around that bend, he's super good at that stuff.
All right, so I've left this bucket of water here and I should really just go water the trees now. So this is gonna be in the same exact spot. <clears throat> I'm just over here watering a couple of trees that are close by the house. Bucket's empty, empty bucket. Put it in the exact same spot. Let's get this turned on. Okay, that's on. Okay, let's get all the air out of there. I'm gonna make sure that the air is out. One forty two and sixty nine versus two something. I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna charge the system, gonna let the system run for you know a couple days, and then I'll come back and try this whole thing one more time. One thing that you learn, always take care of the systems you forget about. Air, heat, water, snow blowers. That's it for this episode of What's Next Garage. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. It really will help me out. I'm gonna take this water, I'm gonna go down and water the trees. Until the next time, have a great day.